In this video, we're going to have a quick look at getting started in OneNote, which is an application available in your 365 license. It's really a digital notebook. So I'm a very techy person. I like to have loads of different devices around me and you'll always find me attached to one of them. But when I'm working on writing notes or thinking about ideas, I do like a physical notebook. I like a pen, a nice handwriter pen, and I like numerous notebooks around me. But that means I've got constant notebooks going on. I need to eventually pull out all the information or throw it away or they'll just be sat gathering dust in a corner. What OneNote will allow you to do is digitalise all of your notes that you've done in the past and also ongoing as well. And one of the great things about OneNote is it can link into Teams and the rest of your apps and you can share that content with other people. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't go handing my physical notebook to anything, anyone else because there's always really useful information in there that I'm always going to try and find. But with sharing, you can give someone access, but you still have access as well. And they can even collaborate in that notebook together. So if you're creating a knowledge base or you're adding actions or tasks, maybe, or something to do, you can collaborate within that one note together. So I'm on my homepage, my landing page in OneNote and it looks really similar to the rest of the Microsoft apps. And right in front of me, I've got the option to select a new notebook. Now you will see there's a number of different apps on your computer that you can have for OneNote. The main one, if you're using Microsoft, is OneNote for Windows 10. That is the newest version. The interface is really simple. It's been a lot of the processes have been taken away, but it's simplified OneNote massively. You can still use a 2016 version, but they have stopped updating it and eventually that will go. So the newer version is much easier to use and I've got it open on a browser just so you can see the functionality available on a browser window, whichever, whether you're a Mac or a Windows user. So I'm going to click on new notebook in a second and create a brand new notebook to start working with. I've got a few options in here just before I do. With my account, my DS Development Services account, I get a notebook that I can use as part of that. I've also, I can also pin notebooks. I can pop notebook, I can see my notebooks and I can see any notebooks that have been shared with me. So none of them, nothing's been shared with me at the moment, but if it has, then I will see it in that section. Just a quick note that these notebooks get saved to OneDrive, so you don't even have to come into OneNote. You can actually just go to OneDrive and access all, all of your notebooks from there, which is great. So I'm just gonna click on new notebook and pop in a title. And when I've popped in that title, I'm going to click on create. And that's going to create my brand new notebook for me. At the moment, it's empty. Because I've not used this in a while, it's going to give me a few options of how to use OneNote and find anything that's new within the application. So I'm just going to click on got it. And I'm just going to remove the pointer at the top. So this is my notebook. I can see I've got my sections and pages down here on the left hand side and then I've got my notebook section where I'm going to populate all of my information here on the right hand side. So I've got three parts of this screen and then I've got a toolbar at the top. So at the moment it's just a notebook, I've got no sections, I've got no pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add sections and pages in. So for this video I'm just going to add one section and then I'm going to call that project A and click on OK. And it's given me an untitled page already in there. So sections on the left, pages in the middle. And I'm going to call this one page one and it just titled it. And I can see the date and the time that I added that page in. So it's stamped to that onto that page as well. So I know exactly when this information, this page was started 
and the information was added into this page. I can add more at the bottom by adding sections and pages. I can add as many sections as I want and as many pages within all of those sections. So different to a physical notebook, when you've written something in there, it's stuck on that page. What you can do in here is you can add loads of different options. You can move sections and pages around and make it really work for you. And at that top in that toolbar, at the moment I'm looking at my text options. I've also got insert options and draw options available to play around with. And on the right hand side in, the t in that grey toolbar, I've got my share options as well. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I can share this with my colleagues so they can see it and they can also collaborate on this notebook as well. So I just need to click into there and then select what I want to do. So I can type something in. Fix my spelling mistake if I've, if I've made any spelling mistakes. Just how I want to, but I do have spelling at the top. That's quite a useful one for me. I always type things in incorrectly and I like having that spelling option there available. So I've got all my usual text options here and I've also got some tag options as well. So I can add to-do lists in here and tick them off as and when I've done my actions. Again, if you've shared this, then everyone can go in and tick their own actions off when they've done them. It might be part of a meeting or a project that you're working on. But you've got those options to play around with as well. And you can also dictate into OneNote, which I think is a really great option. I like to think a lot and think out loud. And then I need to articulate my words into text on a screen and sometimes that can take a lot longer than speaking out loud your thoughts and your ideas so you could use a dictate tool to do that if i just click anywhere else and click on the dictate and let my system access it one note is automatically going to start dictating what i'm saying into that page so I can share my thoughts and ideas and it will already be there in front of me. I can then just use my tools to change the font, change the size, break it down into paragraphs, add even bullet points in there and just really make it visually appealing. But I haven't had to type all of that. So I've saved my hands and I've saved my brain having to remember what I've been thinking and how I'm saying it. I'm just going to stop dictating and just clicking on the arrow you can see you've got loads of language options as well so if you can if you speak a number of languages you can pick a different language and dictate that into the notebook as well which is really great i think this is such a useful function it doesn't always pick up what i'm saying so i might need to go in and just amend it a bit but that's going to take me much less time than typing all of that out all the way through. So loads of great options on your text. Insert, you can see that I can insert tables, I can insert documents and pictures, I can also insert symbols, emojis, maths, stickers, loads of great options there for content that I can insert. So it doesn't just have to be text on a page which is really great. I can make it nice and visual and add loads of great documents into my OneNote so I can keep all of those together in the same place as well. And then I've got Draw. So if I've got a touchscreen device, this is going to work really well for me, especially if I've got a pen that goes with my touchscreen device. So I can draw, I can handwrite into OneNote. All of my notes, all of my ideas, I can draw on the page, I can annotate an image that's in there, I've got loads of great options to play around with on here. And if you do have the OneNote for Windows 10 app, then you will see you can change that. If you write using your hand or a pen, you can change that into actual typed text, which is a super useful function. So you can get that feeling of having a physical notebook, but then you can change it into text on OneNote and you can amend it and manipulate it from there and format it in the same way as the rest of that information. So you all, if you're working on this OneNote as a group, 
You can all add information in whichever way works for you, but using the formatting tools across the whole of the uh, the whole of the program, you'll be able to manipulate into that same consistent format so that you can all then access that information and get whatever you need to get out of it. I have view options as well. I'll quickly go into these. You've got your navigation panes. I can remove them. Your immersive reader. So that's where you can get that great accessibility options where you can change the background color, make things bigger, and also get OneNote to dictate what's on the screen to you. So loads of great options in there to have a play with and across the right hand side. And the final thing I will say is you've got the share option on the right. And I'm just going to click on that so you can see it's saved in OneDrive. So I'm going to share from OneDrive. So I've got this, the exact same box that I'm going to get if I've got any content in OneDrive and I'm looking to share it. Pop the person's name in that you're going to share it with. Or if they're outside of your company or business, then pop in their email address and then just click on send. And you can also add a message in. You do have the opportunity as well to send a link as well. So you could send the link via text, via instant message or on a web platform somewhere. So you've got loads of options to share your OneNote and your notebooks and start working on them together and collaborating. So see how you get on with OneNote.